Now this is a car you do not see every day. Today we're gonna check out and test drive uh, one of our newest inventory, this 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. Factory triple black car, real Roadrunner. But uh, the best thing with this car is just a, I'd say it's like a sweetheart of a car. He's, it starts almost, starts every time, get in it, drives great, brakes are great, you just well, take it anywhere. Well, look at the straightness of the body. The body is laser straight, the paint looks beautiful, the chrome, and this is a one year only car. The 71s are just a super sweet car. I love the spoilers, the, the, really the see, bumpers see are see your reflection really, anywhere in it too. The bumpers, the front nose on these 71s is really iconic. Got a cool car. That opens the hood. Date code correct, 383. 71, 383. I really like what they did too. They went with all the uh, Mopar hoses. Engine bay is beautiful. I mean, no buzz bomb there. It was just done very, very professionally. Inner fenders, radiator support. Everything matches too, doesn't it? All the numbers on the radiator support, the cowl and, and tag and bin and um, real deal Roadrunner. This we bought out of a private collection. I bought about three, four cars from the guy who's moving yep. down south and um, getting rid of some of his collection. They took awfully great care of this one. Yeah, this is uh, my favorite one out of all the ones we bought from him. And you can just see the reflection of the clouds everywhere in it. The back of the hood lines up great. A uh, windshield's beautiful. Vinyl top is fantastic. All the trim around the vinyl top's beautiful as well. Also, it's uh, black on black on black on black with the stripes. Huh? Yeah. Rear spoilers in the satin, front spoiler. I love the Craggers too. I mean, they're yeah, so mean, man. Um, great stance. Exhaust sounds beautiful. You want to go ahead and shut it off, Dave? Yeah. As far as the trunk lid, look how nice the trunk lid lines up to the bottom of this quarter on both sides. Your valance paint's nice. Here's one of the flaws in the car. It's got a tiny, someone at one time, it's got a little outward tiny ding right here. Um, probably a jack or something was in there, something come in contact. Other than that, as we go around it, I mean, the roof is beautiful. There was, the only other thing I really seen was there was a tiny little like, um, stars. Or yeah, right over here on the other side of this turn signal. Oh yeah, right there. Like and it's got the factory turn, hood indicator turn signal. I noticed one of those isn't working, the right side or something. The one side works and the other doesn't yet. But as far as the paint goes, it's super smooth. Just yeah. nice and smooth all the way around. Bottom of the rocker, lower fender is awesome. Doors open and close really nice. I mean, nothing's perfect. This paint's 15 years old. Um, for sure, it doesn't look like that. I mean, it's gorgeous yeah, it is. body. Not a trailer queen, but definitely a show car, in my yep. opinion. The big thing with this one for me is like, the, when I got in it, just to move it around the lot when it first came in, clicked on the AM radio, original AM radio still works. You know, it just starts and idles so nice. Just a crisp, crisp car. Yes, it sure is. The jam paint's beautiful. Seats are nice. Um, headliner's in good shape. Couple little wrinkles in the headliner, but not bad. Went ahead and go that. Uh, dome light works. Back door panels, back seat. Everything's in great shape there. The dash pad looks nice. The dash itself is in beautiful shape. Original steering wheel. Wood grain's nice. Here's your corner of the door on the inside. But it's how everything lines up too. Like check that trunk lid. Yeah, I already mentioned deal. all that. Oh, good deal. Very straight car. I love the boat out quarter design on it as well.
definitely just a fantastic looking car just neat the whole you know the seven and road runners as a whole was just a an iconic car like you said one year only body style yeah they definitely are i love them 255 70 15s on the back and like i said great stance should we take her for a spin before we get wet here d let's do her door handles open close nice a paint run right here in the door jam other than that, door jam paint's covered very nicely. Door panels are great, remote mirror. Both corners of the doors are solid. Uh, underneath's all solid as well, painted black. Door buzzer still works. Like you said, it starts so easy, doesn't it? Yeah. Windows go up really nice too. Uh, oil pressure gauge works, gas gauge works. Temp, we'll find out. Uh, charging gauge works as well. Does the radio take a while to come on or what? Nope. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's an AM FM. Nice. Yeah. You can tell it's the original too just by the age of the buttons. Horn works, wipers work. <laughs> it sounds like it got a ghost in the heater box. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of freaked me out. Heater fan works good after the it works on the high side too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it all works. Just has a little little growl to work on. Mm -hmm. Glove box light works. These are comfortable as hell too. You know, there's a lot of room in them. Tons. And when they change that body style over, you know, it seems like the 71s handle really well. You know, the 70s did too, but these almost just handle better. Every year, the technology got a little better and better. Um, what we talk about the, we talk about this a lot with the 70, 71, twos, threes, Camaros. They yeah. handle a lot better than the sevens, eights, and nines. It's yep. a different platform and different suspension. Turn signal works on the left side. The right side is not working on the hood. Might be a bulb or something. Yeah, that's something simple, I'm sure. Other than that, rings working. Idle's nice. It's the first time I've ever been behind the wheel of it. Windows roll up super smooth as well. The back one on your side still down, so there might be a little bit of wind, but. Oh, it is down, isn't it? Speedometer works perfect, a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah, 71s, they still had some, they still had some nuts. Yeah. They do it. When I get into, here's the difference. We just got done doing that cutlass a little bit ago, and it was fun just going through the gears and, yep. and uh, ripping the tires loose. But when you get a car this nice, I don't even really want to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's on the verge of a, it's not a trailer queen, but it's just, a, it's definitely a show quality car. And yep. I almost feel sorry for getting on it too much, but the kick down works great. It's 80 mile an hour down the road right now. It goes down the road great. Temperature gauge is coming up a little bit, dull. It's just, just off the cold right now. Check her brakes out. We gotta stop fast. Look at that. You can do her. That's perfect. No pull left or right really good car mechanically it's just good all the way around yeah it is pretty hard to beat check this one out on the site coyoteclassics.com i'll put a link down in the comment section um, but uh thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time